welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see by the title, we're doing a little bit of crafty crafty DIYing today. I feel like I haven't done a DIY video in a long time and I just thought I would do something a little bit different on my channel today. Let me know what you guys think of it. As you guys know, I am so passionate about homeware. If you guys haven't checked out my previous video, I had a very exciting announcement to do with homeware. So make sure you guys check it out. I'll link it down below. But as I say, for today's video, we're doing some upcycling using some really inexpensive things from Ikea and we're gonna make it look so much cuter and really personalized. So this video is actually in collaboration with Skillshare. They have really kindly sponsored this video. If you guys don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically a social community platform where you can pretty much learn anything. And also if you guys have a skill, you can also be a teacher on the platform. You can set up your own account and basically start doing your own online courses for other people to be able to learn from. The reason why I thought that Skillshare would be a great fit for this video is because I'm kind of doing something a little bit new. I'm kind of trying to craft a skill in, you know, doing a bit of DIYing of homeware. And there is so many DIY courses on how to paint, do homeware, make your own rug. There's literally everything on there. So if that kind of sounds of interest to you guys and you do want to learn a new skill, then you are in the right place because Skillshare is actually one of the most affordable websites that does this kind of thing with courses. So Skillshare have kindly made it so that 500 people who sign up first using the link down below will get two months for free so that you guys can kind of test and try out their service and see if you can learn something new. So I will leave that link down below so make sure you guys check it out but if you guys want to see how to upcycle and upgrade your IKEA goodies then let's get on into the video. So for the first DIY we're going to be taking this Gladham table from IKEA which is 15 pounds and we're going to be starting to spray it with a primer. Spraying on a primer is super important to make sure that all of the spray paint then sticks onto the table. Once the primer has dried, I'm then going in with some gold spray and I'm just covering the legs of this table. I'm not really too worried about the top part of it. Make sure that this spray paint is durable. I am doing this in a couple of different layers and letting it dry for about 15 minutes in between. Once the legs of the table are drying, I'm then going to use this really cool marble spray paint and I'm just basically spraying that on the tabletop of this side table. This spray paint is honestly like magic. I have no idea how this works, but it creates such a cool marble effect. If you guys want to try one for yourself, I will link it down below. I just got this one from Homebase. Once everything is dry, you can assemble the table back together. And if there is any pieces of the marble sort of spray paint just kind of hanging off the edge of the table, feel free to just pick those little bits off. And this is the before and this is the after. Just like that, we managed to create such an amazing looking table, which I think looks so much more bougie, so much more expensive. And no one would know that this was only 15 pounds in Ikea. For the next DIY, I'm taking this really inexpensive stool. This was only four pounds. Turn this boring old stool. What you wanna do is take a fluffy cushion. All you have to do is just cut a little slit at the back of the pillow, pop the little seat disc inside, and then cut out the holes where the kind of like screw holes are. You will see them because they'll be kind of poking through the fabric. It's really important that you cut those holes where the screw parts are so that you can kind of assemble the whole chair together with the legs. I'm then taking all of my little bits and bobs that came with the chair and I'm basically just assembling it together with the screws and also a screwdriver. You want to make sure that you screw it on really tight so that the fabric of the cushion is kind of jammed in between the seat and also the legs of the seat and that way the cushion will not budge. I also love the fact that with this stool the cushion is removable so if you ever need to pop it through the wash you can just remove it and then pop it back on once it's dry. This is kind of what it should look like. I think it's a really nice way to spice up a really simple and regular stool and I also think it makes it really practical because without the cushion it was actually really hard to sit on. DIY, we're going to be taking the simple Ikea wicker basket and we're going to be basically spicing it up a little bit. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just taking some masking tape and I'm kind of masking off the very ridge of this basket. Once I've got my straight edge with the masking tape, I'm then just taking a piece of plastic. You can just use a plastic bag for this and I'm just taping that on to cover up the top half of my basket. Once you're happy that everything on the top half is covered up, you can flip your basket over and start spray painting the bottom section of the basket 
basket. Doing this will give it a really cool two-tone effect and just kind of transform it rather than being so plain and boring. Once the spray paint has dried, you can then take off all of the plastic and the masking tape and this should reveal a really cool clean edge between the wicker color and also the white spray paint. Now to add a little bit more sass and detail to the basket, I'm making some handmade pom-poms with just some white yarn. So what you want to do is you just want to keep twisting the yarn around your hand, make it super, super thick, and then you want to basically tie it off in half. I'm not the greatest at explaining things like this, but I'm sure you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. You want to make sure that this is super, super tight and then cut off the loose ends. And once that's done, you then just want to cut the looped edges and this will kind of create the pom-pom effect. As you can see, this is a really simple way to make a pom-pom. I'm then just going in with my pair of scissors and I'm just cutting off any loose ends and I'm kind of going to make this pom-pom a little bit smaller than it is right now. But as you can see, it looks a lot more fuller once you get rid of all of the sparse sort of loose ends. Once I've created three of those pom-poms, I'm then just taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue these to the very top edge of my basket. With this step, you can be as creative as you like. You can make some smaller, some larger pom-poms. I just went for three different pom-poms and I kind of spaced them evenly so that it kind of made it look a little bit more symmetrical. So this is the before and this is the after. I am obsessed with how this basket turned out. I feel like it looks so much more homely and it looks way more detailed. It looks way more expensive now that we done this DIY. I feel like the pom-poms add such a nice homely touch. I think they're so much fun and you could easily do some different colors to really match the color scheme of your home. So those were all of my DIYs that I'm going to do for you guys today. I honestly loved how everything turned out and it just goes to show how you can buy something really inexpensive and turn it into something really, really cool. I feel like all of these DIYs are pretty like standard sort of skill levels. So I'm sure everyone can follow this and get super, super creative with it. If you guys would like me to do more of these homey DIY types of videos, then do let me know down below in the comments and also give this video a huge thumbs up. But that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.